Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss how to manage log stash plugins. So this is the agenda of the session. We will see how to check if particular plugin is installed or not. Then we will see how to install the particular plugin. Then we will see how to update the particular plugin. And at the end, we will see how to remove already installed plugin. So Logistess is having four types of plugins, input plugin, output plugin, codec plugin, and the filter, and the filter plugins. So there are four types of plugins. So this plugin is used at the input stage. Output plugin is used at the output stage. Codec can be used at input stage as well as on output stage. And filter is used in the processing stage or we can say filter stage. Logstash is a data pipeline which is having different stages. The input stage, the processing stage or we can say filter stage then the output stage. This input stage takes the data basically from the source and it is and it sends to the processing stage or filter stage and then filter stage or processing stage sent to the output stage and then output stage will send to the destination. Now let me quickly show you the YAML configuration file where we mentioned the different different stages. This is the configuration file I have taken from previous video. In this data pipeline, we are getting the data from FileBeat and, and then Logstash is sending the data to the S3. You can see I have mentioned different stages. This is the input stage. This is the filter stage or processing stage. Then this is the output stage. As I mentioned that these stages uses different plugins here you can see the input stage is using the beats plugin and in the filter stage here i am using mutate csv and in the output stage i am using the s3 plugin as per your need you can use different plugins at different stages when you download the Logstash software it does not comes with all supported plugins by default few widely used plugins are installed with the software but there are many plugins which are not present in the in the Logstash software if you want to use those plugins you will have to install separately so let's see those things first you need to launch the bin path of your log stress in the command prompt as i already did now i want to list down all the installed plugins we have this command to list down all the installed plugin so let's run this let's wait for a few seconds so you can see it has listed down all the plugins which are installed in my log stress you can copy these and put in the notepad plus plus if you want i have copied so there are total 103 plugins these include input plugins output plugins codec plugins and the filter plugins suppose i want to list down only the input plugin so let's see how we can do that this is the command to list down all the plugins to list down plugins related to input we have this command input let's press enter it will take few seconds you can see these are the input plugins installed with my logistics software suppose you want to see the output plugins then you can use this group output let's press enter you can see output plugins here in the same way you can check the codec plugin these are the codec 
plugins installed with my software Logistess software same way you can check the filter plugins these are the filter plugins present in my Logistess software so this is how we can check the different installed plugins there are many plugins which are not present here in the list of input plugins or output plugins or codec or filter but those are supported by the logist test so if we use those plugins which are not installed with my logist test software there would be error we will not able to use them so before using those plugins first we will have to install them so let's see how so this is the official website of Logistess documentation I've clicked on the output plugins here you can see all these output plugins supported by the Logistess these are the all output plugins present with my Logistess software now let me search Kafka Kafka is not present in my output plugins list here if you see the Kafka is not present if I am creating a data pipeline or application based on log stats where I need to use the Kafka plugin then first I will have to install the Kafka plugin so let's install that for the installation first you need to know the code of the plugin so this is the Kafka and code of plugin is this so you need to copy this then you need to use this command install and the name of the plugin or basically plugin code let's press enter let's wait for the installation to be finished it will take few seconds you can see it is installing the logist test output kafka plugin you can see the installation is finished means this plugin installed with my logist software now let's install one input plugin so you need to go to this documentation click on the input plugins and you can take any plugin which you want to install let's take this plugin copy this code and let's paste here plugin install it is installing and you can see the installation finished so our plugin installed successfully in the same way you can install any any plugin whether it's codec plugin or filter plugin so the code for filter plugins you can find from here click on the filter plugins then you can find then you can find the code from here the same way you can check for the codec plugins here and whichever plugins whichever plugin you want to install you can get the code from here from this list so this is how we can install the plugins suppose you want to update the particular plugin suppose I want to update this plugin so how we can do that you need to write this instead of install you need to write the update and the code of the plugin let's press enter you see it is updating yeah you can see the updation is finished the same way you can update any plugin just you need to change the code of the plugin here and code you can get from the official website documentation which i already saw so that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video